Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we're going to look at how to view your results on a quiz. What you can see after you've completed a quiz is going to vary widely depending on your instructor and the settings that they use on the quiz. In the example I have here, you're going to be able to see the questions that were missed, but not the answers. Your professor may set up the quiz so that you can see all of the questions with answers or all of the questions uh, with just the ones you missed. So there's a lot of different ways that the results can be displayed to you. And it's not real intuitive on how to go find those results because if you go back to the content area and go to the area where you took that quiz, in this instance it's in module 8, and I click on the quiz, this has unlimited attempts. So when I click on it again, it wants me to start taking the quiz, which is not what I want to do. If I go back out to the module and I click on the pull down arrow, it has view topic and submit feedback. So I can't see the results here. What I need to do is go to assessments and quizzes and there I see my quiz listed. On the little pull down arrow I click on it and I go to submissions. Now I've only taken one attempt on this. This is like I said a multiple attempt quiz. So there could be you know attempts 1 through 10, however many attempts were made and you can look at each of those individually. And if you click on attempt one, it's going to show you in this instance the questions. These are the questions that were missed. It does not give the correct answer because you've got multiple attempts to go back and correct your submission here. So you know which questions are wrong. You can go back and restudy the material and retake the quiz. Now your professor may have it set up so it does indicate which ones were missed and what the correct answers are. So that's really going to vary widely. But that is the way that you go in to review the results on a quiz.